properties of circles. In this video, we are going to focus on angle in a semicircle. You will find this on page 377 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Angle in a semicircle. In the diagram, AOB is a diameter. There's the diameter of the circle with center O. Then angle AOB, AOB at the center, it's a center, angle at the center of the circle, and angle APB at the circumference, angle at the circumference of the circle. So if you can remember the previous video, the angle at the center is twice as big as the angle at the circumference. So if this is a straight line and this is 180, then this I can take this 180, divide it by 2 to get that 90. So since angle is a semi-angle, APB is called angle in a semi-circle. Okay, because that divides the circle into two parts. Now, um, APB, APB is equal to half AOB. A, O, B. So that's how I arrive at the 90. So thus we have the following theorem. An angle in a semicircle is a right angle. So the angle in the semicircle, so this is the semicircle, there it will be a right angle. Okay, let's move on. So in this diagram, A, O, B is the diameter of the circle, then APB, APB will be 90. Straight line, if I take 180, divide 2, it's 90. Let's look at this example. In the diagram, AD is parallel to OC. So AD is parallel to OC, okay? So AB is a diameter. AB is a diameter of the circle with center O. And angle OCD, OCD, is 58. Find angle BOC. BOC. Okay, so this is the angle I must find. So in this case, I'm just going to start um, by looking at this. So the first thing is angle ADB. I just want to get the pin. ADB. So there's the diameter, there's the angle in the semicircle. So that one is 90. Okay. Then angle ADC. A, D, C, and D, C, O. Do you see the parallel lines? So that means that these two angles will be co-interior. What does co-interior angles in parallel ang lines? They add up to 180. So if I want to find this one, A, D, C, I can just take the 180 and subtract that 55 so that will be 125 for that green big angle there but i'm interested i'm interested in that one there do you see so i know this is 90 how do i get that 35 i'm just going to take the 125 subtract that 90 and that's how i arrive at the 35 okay and now if i look here um, let's just see i want to show you the lines i think it's going to help you so, if you look, if I take it from there, I just want to get straight lines. Do you see? That's angle at the circumference. Do you see from the same points, that is angle at the center. So, this, if this is 35, this one will at the center will be twice as big, 35 times 2, which will give me 70 degrees. Okay. Um, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 22. I just want to clean here. Do for me just number one. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start with this one. In the diagram, again parallel lines. KL and NM. KL is the diameter of the circle with center O. And angle KON, KON is 54 okay find angle KLM KLM so they want me to find that angle there okay but let's start um, if I want a first what I'm going to do is I'm going to find this angle that reflex angle because that is angle at the center 
and then this will be angle at the circumference. So how do I find that reflex angle? So find reflex angle L O N. Okay. So angle Which is right here. Angle L O N will be equal, this is a straight line, to the 180 plus the 54. And that will give me a sum total of 234. Two, three, four. Okay, so find angle K L M. Okay, so now as soon as I find this, so I'm now going to say that this angle, so therefore, so therefore, angle L, let me just give on 2 L M N, 2 L M N, I can say 2, that's that angle, 2 L M N is equal to angle, the strat reflex L O N. So if I want to find angle LM in, I'm just going to take that 2, 3, 4, and I divide it by 2, and that will give me an answer of 117 degrees. Okay, so this one is 117, and that one was 2, 3, 4, the green one. Okay, and now what do I want? I want KLM. So... K, uh, the blue one, K, L, M. But do you see that that lines are parallel? So it's also co-interior angles. So co-interior angles and parallel lines so angle uh, co-interior parallel lines add up to 180. A supplementary. So angle K, K, L, M is going to be equal to 180 minus that 117. And that will give me an answer of 63 degrees. So that blue one, I should have made it blue, it will be 63 degrees, and that's how. So always use your other geometry also. As soon as you see parallel lines, think of all the properties of parallel lines. And then also think of the properties of a circle, because it's inside a circle.